makeup tutorial for you guys today and this is actually the finished look. Um, I've just filmed it and I kind of think it went alright. And if you haven't noticed already, I have, I'm actually kind of in a different background. I'm like sitting in front of my dressing table, as you can see here, you can see all my makeup brushes and everything. So I'm in a little bit of a different background. Go ahead and like this video if you like this background because I actually kind of like it. But, but I have got a back to school makeup look for you guys, which is the point of this video. So I really hope you enjoy it and let's get on to it. To apply my foundation today, I'm using the um, Beauty Blender by, I think it's Cosmopolitan, but I'm not completely sure. Um, but it's just this little beauty blender, and I'm going to be blending in my foundation with that. So as I said before, I'm blending, I'm mixing two foundation colours together. So I'm going to do one pump of the darkest one. And then a little squeeze of this one here. I have the foundation on the back of my hand is actually a little bit too much for what I actually need for this but I'm just gonna go with that I'm just gonna dab it on my face oh my god I really did put too much on and if I'm looking over here by the way I'm looking in the mirror because obviously I need to look in the mirror and see my makeup so yeah I have way too much foundation here And by the way, this beauty blender is dampened, so just run it under the tap a little bit for a few seconds to get it a little bit damp and squeeze the rest of the water out. And I'm just going to then blend all of this foundation into my face using a little fancy motion. Blending your foundation in with a beauty blender, make sure that you don't slide it on your face and like kind of drag the product around with this. Remember to just kind of bounce it onto your face using the beauty blender because um, if you're gonna, if you drag it, it's just going to create a massive streak in your foundation. So I really recommend not to do that. Also, um, if you're going for a little bit less coverage, then I would recommend using a BB cream. Um, I'm just using a foundation because I like to have a little bit more coverage than a BB cream, so I'm using this foundation. My foundation is done. As you can see, I have a really nice, flawless base to start the makeup on, but before I do the eyeshadow, I'm going to move on to a little bit of concealer just to hide a few blemishes that I have. For concealer today, I'm using the Lasting Perfection Concealer by um, Collection, and I really, really love this concealer. It's a very um, high coverage concealer, so if you're not wanting to put foundation on, then you could just um, apply this and you'd be all good. I'm just going to be applying this under my eyes in a triangle. And because I really do like to have that coverage, I'm going for this. Um, you don't have to do this, obviously. You could just go for a little bit of concealer, but I'm just going to use this just to cover up a few spots as well. I'm now going to be using this pointed kabuki here, and just to blend that out, I'm just kind of patting it underneath. Done my concealer I'm going to now move on to my powder you can skip powder if you would like I'm just going to kind of add a little bit just to set this um, foundation and concealer onto my face um, I'm using the MUA um, matte perfect loose powder I really like loose powders because they do get into all the nooks and crannies obviously you can use a pressed powder as well they are also very very good Firstly, I'm going to set my under eye um, concealer. So I'm going to be using this contour brush by La Roque. This is a dupe for the um, uh, Real Technique brushes. And I'm just going to grab a little bit onto this brush and just kind of pat it under my eyes. This is going to really set 
that under eye concealer because under your eyes normally get a little, little bit greasy so this is gonna really really help you just I'm going to go in with a Lorac kind of like medium to um, large um, powder brush. I'm just going to use the excess powder that I've emptied off into the lid and just kind of sweep that around my face really. I have now completed all my foundation so I'm now going to move on to a little bit of definition you can skip this if you would like but I'm just going to bronze up my face a little bit just to add a little bit of um, definition I'm not going to for a full contour say so I'm just going to kind of bronze up my face a little bit I'm gonna be using this big fan brush I'm not actually sure what the company is called but I bought this off Amazon and um, for like a quid I'm going to be using my bourgeois Paris um, bronzing powder. I love this bronzing powder so, so much. Just going to be sweeping my brush in that and just bronzing up my face a little bit. I'm going to move on to my eyebrows because I don't really do blush. I'm going to move on to my eyebrows but however I'm going to skip this part because this is very optional and if you do want to do your eyebrows then you can do your routine now. I'm just going to go ahead and fill them in with my um, sleek brow kit in dark brown. Okay so I filled in my eyebrows as you can see and if you want to see a full brow routine on my brows then go ahead and comment down below if you'd like to see that. I'm now going to move on to a little bit of eyeshadow and because I don't want to go full out with any eyeshadow I'm just going to go in with the same bronzer as I did to bronze my face and I'm just going to grab a little um, kabuki and I'm just going to grab that um, bit of bronzer onto the end and just kind of put it in my crease. Um, this is going to be really good because um, your bronzer can double up as a eyeshadow and the only reason why I'm putting this in, I could completely skip eyeshadow if I wanted to but I kind of just want to add a little bit of definition to my eyes. that kind of just adds a little bit of subtle um, definition to the eyes, kind of just darkens them a little bit. I'm now going to curl my lashes with these Primark um, little eyelash curlers and I'm going to add a little bit of mascara. Now that I've covered my lashes, I am going to go in with the um, Maybelline The Rocket Mascara, as you can see. I really love this um, uh, mascara because it really does lengthen and darkens your lashes. Um, and I especially like the wand on it because it's a plastic wand, it really does lengthen your eyelashes. I'm just going to go ahead and run this through my eyelashes and this is the point where you could add as many many layers of mascara as you would like. I personally personally do like my eyelashes very long and spidery um, some people like the natural look um, I really do like big lashes I'm now going to do my lower lashes and this really um, like defines them and makes your eyes a little bit bigger. The final touch for this look is I'm going to apply a little bit of lipstick. You can skip the step but definitely it's very optional. Um, some schools don't allow like lip colours or anything but this is a really nice nude colour. This is the Rimmel London um, birthday suit. I'm not sure what this line is called but I think it's just like the normal Rimmel lipsticks that you get and this is in 250 birthday suit. I really really love this colour. It's a really nice kind of brown colour which is really nice.
Honestly, you can like never leave the house with lipstick on without lipstick on. Like my necessity. So obviously I'm gonna have to do it at school. So that is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it also. Go ahead and comment down below some more video ideas that you would like me to do and if you would like me to do any more back to school videos. Also, go ahead and follow me on all my social media. They will be down below in the description box like always and if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe, bu subscribe button in, I think it's this corner but I'm not completely sure. Um, either go there or if you're on a mobile device then go down below and click the subscribe button because it really does help me out. Really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!